YouTube. I thought I'd uh, give you a look. Um, my day job is a plumber, so it's given me um, enough money to wander around the world and do lots of different things. So I thought I'd uh, take you through my Milwaukee rolling toolbox. Um, I've had lots of different uh, tool carriers in the, in the past. Start off with a small sort of 18 inch 450 toolbox as an apprentice, and that was 37 years ago. And then I moved on to a timber carrier that I made. Um, it moved from there through to, I think, um, eventually a, a bucket, a bucket, and then it moved to a bucket bag. And um, all these inclinations of toolboxes, inclinations, that's not really a word, incarnations of uh, toolboxes have had their advantages and disadvantages. So the, uh, the metal toolbox originally was good, it was closed, it was locked, nobody could see in it, um, so that meant my tools were safe. Uh, then as we moved on, the carry oil was excellent because then you could uh, add, made it, you know, to fit um, uh, my tools and you could see where everything was, you could pick it out quite easily. Then when we went to the bucket, the bucket was handy because it took up less space in the vehicle and it was problematic because you couldn't see everything in the bottom of it, you ended up pouring everything onto the ground and then fishing through it to find what you needed. The bucket bag was excellent, so you had the advantage of a bucket which took up little space but you could see the tools in it. So from that point on, you started losing less and less tools because it, you know, the, the shifter or the pair of multi-grips or whatever wasn't in its uh, individual spot. So then you could see what was missing. You could retract your steps during the day or, you know, during the weeks, you go back and find it on the jobs. Or sometimes you just have to go, that job is too far away. I can't go back to it. I have to buy a new one. <clears throat> and as I get older, the, um, the advantages of the rolling toolbox is that uh, you don't have to carry it so much. You can drag it up and down stairs. Uh, that's uh, a good... It is good because you can see the tools in it. So let's go through it and see what, what happens. So first of all, um, I've gone back to sort of the, the carry -alls. So then if I've got a a job that I don't need a lot of tools, I can take them from the, the rolling toolbox and put them in that and take them away. Alternately, if I have uh, more tools than I need in the rolling toolbox, I can stack them in the carry-all. And the advantage of this one is that um, if I uh, need more tools, I can simply place that on top. It does fall off, but it gives me the advantage of having more tools. Uh, the way when I get onto the job, the Velcro is dead, it won't work. So I've just got a couple of little clamps. Uh, not sure why they're pink, but um, just because they are. So I'll clip that to uh, give me a chance to see into the toolbox. I'll change camera angles and we'll have a look through. So this is the inside. Um, so Recipro, I use daily. Uh, Milwaukee don't sponsor me at all. Um, quite good. I've killed a few of them, uh, mostly with water, drowning, plumber, I cut pipes under water. Um, now I chose the, uh, the screwdriver over the impact driver, I have both, but this is uh, silent or nearly silent. Um, you can adjust, you know, from screw to, to uh, drill. Um, as an advantage, it's quiet, you know, the impact, not, the impact drivers are nasty, you know, things to use. Uh, the reason I chose the uh, M12 is uh, it's lighter in the toolbox, so I don't have to carry it. Uh, a torch, LED torch, it's reasonably handy. Um, again, same fits the same batteries. Uh, the multi tool is in here uh, from the previous job, so that will usually go away. Um, I keep my uh, tape in a box. These are Kiwi made uh, boxes and buy them in a supermarket. Just keeps the tape nice. Um, stops me having to look for it. There's uh, some duct tape 
so I use this to tape insulation up. Uh, random strap. A little box of um, sorry, little box of quick fit bits. So uh, hex, Torx, uh, Philip, and flat. Uh, I use multiple um, wheels on the on the drill. So the advantage of the quick fit is that you know they just snap into it. Um, the nylon uh, good. You're not nasty sticking that under your fingernails, uh, but it doesn't clean quite as well as the uh, the other one. Uh, small tape. Uh, I don't really need a giant long tape for most of my days. Uh, I enjoy the um, rulers. So. Ruler, here's your advantage, you know, it can nearly be a square, so like I can line things up, you know, square across. Um, I can use it as a rough uh, square, um, can use it both directions. Uh, this is my thing that, that's in the pocket of my pants every day. Now, I plumber need a level, everything needs to be straight and true. Um, this one has a grade on it as well, so I can quickly ascertain, ascertain whether the um, uh, the grade is correct for whatever pipe. Uh, I don't use the uh, the oxy much anymore, but I still carry the striker, just as a matter of course. Um, file, rasp, uh, multi-tip screwdriver, as well. Got a fapon uh, ratchet just because I like it. Uh, plumber's wood chisel is never particularly sharp so this hammers everything from steel to timber to uh, bricks to whatever I need to beat out of, beat out of the way. A uh, small tool, so this, uh, sorry, a uh, cat's paw, so this saves my hole saws or drills or anything if there's a bit of timber in the noggin. Uh, sorry, a nail in the timber noggin, then I remove this. Um, I like my little square, it's quite a good gauge. Oops. Um, good for small work, of course I've got different size ones, but this one just is in the, the multi-use box. Uh, this is an internal pipe cutter, so you know, I've got to cut something you know, in the floor, in the wall, or tight. Quite nice and handy. Uh, torch, again little light as well, LED, so this is a USB charge one, uh, if I'm going to kill myself with electricity. Uh, Petzl L uh, USB rechargeable headlight, uh, doorstop, so um, I don't lock myself in or out of the building. Um, sharp for a plumber, wood chisel, but uh, you're not going to cut yourself with this thing. Uh, um, and we've got the sort of the uh, so in Australia these are called shifters uh, Crescent was the brand that I think developed them so um, I've got three different sizes uh, in America they're called channel lock in Australia these are called multi grips because uh, literally you can um, grip pipe or fittings at, uh, at multiple sizes so I still call those a pair of multi grips. Um, these are my new favourite uh, Kimpex uh, flat face multi grips or flat face channel locks. Um, good for chrome plated nuts, doesn't scratch them. A pair of little multi grips. Um, I used to use multi grips a lot more when I was brazing or silver soldering pipe because everything was hot. Um, I don't need them quite as much. I still use them. Or they still come in my, my bag. And I got a small packet of, um, again, this is just uh, uh, just in case. Uh, again, it has uh, different size sockets. Uh, I think these are all metric. Uh, an adapter to go from the uh, three, uh, sorry, quarter drive to quick fit. Um, I call these quick fit. I'm not sure of the exact name. So they're probably quarter drive or something. Oops, we'll just leave that there. 
Uh, multiple little batteries. They're quite good. They last quite a long time in the tools. Uh, this is a reamer, sorry, the shadow. Uh, pipe reamer, inside outside. So I'll use that to clean up my copper pipe after I've uh, diverted with this as well. So that's sort of a rough first deburrer. And then a uh, little deburrer. Have some um, uh, some uh, abrasive tape, so I use this to clean around the pipe. Uh, in case somebody forces me to have too much beer, so uh, a bit of vitamin B. That's all for the inside. So I'll move to the outer flap. Uh, most of the time, this is in my vehicles, so I don't do this up all the way. But uh, you can undo it. Actually, before we go inside, so now I've got um, a couple of STS bits, 5.5 for nylon knocking anchors and 6.5 for uh, green plugs. Um, uh, still on the outside, got some gloves on this side. I try to use those these days if I'm playing with uh, glues and solvents. Um, this one and a pair of uh, a pair of sort of thin leather gloves. And here, this is sort of the the quick fit sort of department. Uh, I've got a pick for playing with O-rings, um, a spade bit, 25 mil uh, inch in the old money. Uh, quick fit 6.5 or quarter, a little bit Phillips. Um, roofing, scribe, just in case. Uh, small, oops, small, reasonably sharp uh, cold chisel. Uh, new pencil, uh, paint pen. Uh, this is sort of 11 mil for some of our mixer taps. Um, I have two diamond blades. Uh, sorry, two diamond files. If I need to sharpen any, you know, quickly I can. Um, some beading screwdrivers, you know, like you can see this one's bent. Uh, with the floor waste, sometimes I'll put them inside the inside the floor waste and then use something else to undo it. Uh, small little lever. Uh, Reciprocal blades, so. Fine, coarse, you know, fine, long, short. Uh, the tip for monoxy, so this is a number 12 tip. Um, I keep this here because if some of the other boys use my oxy, you know, they'll drop it and bend it. So I keep mine, it should be relatively clean. Um, some a flush cut blade, don't use it very often. Uh, coarser blade for pipe and uh, two other blades. A uh, little bit finer, just for cutting, so if I need to cut PVC pipe or, you know, a bit of um, nails from a timber noggin that I want to cut out. Uh, some brushes to clean it, a deburrer for the centre of the pipe, depending on the diameter of the pipe, I'll use the small ones or the big one. A pair of little side cutters, electric wire, these are rated for a thousand volts. Um, of course they won't cut anything big diameter but I just use them for you know little things. A Milwaukee uh, pair of um, sort of electricians. I uh, bought these without realizing that uh, they're not um, they're not rated. I'm not sure if they're not rated because of the uh, the clip so you could touch that and potentially electrocute them yourself or for some other reason. So I was a little bit disappointed that they're not rated but um, Hopefully the power's off when I'm playing with it most of the time. Um, again, so we've got another pair of... Uh, I don't like these. I think the, uh, the the back of them was either designed to uh, deburr something or stave your jam in your fingers. I jam my fingers in them the whole time. Um, they're kind of bulky at, the, bulky at the top as well. Don't like them much, don't use them. They probably should... Uh, relinquish their spot from a tool bag, something else. Uh, another big pair of flat face, 
a medium sort of shifter. Um, metric and Imperial um, hex keys. These are another little set of uh, quick fit um, nut drivers if I need an appliance. A, um, a knife. I carry a I carry a Victoria Knox knife with me the whole time. So with this bag, I can do um, I can do rough ins, so I can do general maintenance, and it just is a nice bag. I got um, most things that I need during the day with me. Hope you enjoyed that. We might uh, go through. Um, some of my other vehicles and some of my other my toolboxes if you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Uh, please, sorry, please subscribe. Uh, we'll go through my little technical bag and some of the other boxes and some of the other vehicles at another point. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Please uh, comment if, um, if you're either a plumber or you don't think that uh, these tools were effective. I need a new battery for my uh, road bike. It's dropped two cells. We'll do one on my road bike and maybe my dirt bikes. Some other point. Hey, uh, thanks for watching. Bye now.